Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I'm Jay Nicholas. This is another in our series of saltwater fly tying and fly fishing videos. Hey, welcome. This is another one of our saltwater uh, Pacific Ocean saltwater fly tying series. We're going to tie a rockfish deceiver, uh, deceiver, a lefties deceiver. Um, great flies. They're fished all over the world. Uh, this is a must add 3407 uh, 2 hook. Uh, the lefties deceivers have, the thing they have in common are, is feather tail. Now some people get the feathers all fancy and lined up. Some people face them in, some people face them out. Um, I like to have them kind of pointed out in crazy directions. Um, I think that gives more action to the fly. I use a combination for, 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 I almost always use a combination of colors. This is, this uh, for rockfish, I'm, I'm calling this a rockfish deceiver, but it catches all kinds of things. And I'm using purple and white. And they're just kind of wild here. And when Lefty ties this, I've watched him on YouTube. He does not put on a body. He's right, the body doesn't show up, but I do put on a body because I know what's under there. And I use pearl uh, diamond flat braid. And I'll put just a little dab of hydro cure goo on there. And that will lock down all those fibers. And sometimes I'll even take a wrap or two underneath that tail. When you you fish this fly uh, actively, and it swims, and I. Of course, I got a lump in the body there naturally. It always happens when you do this on video. Fish this fly with some motion, uh, strip retrieve. Uh, sometimes you'll just let it hang there in the ocean current. Um, now, they, uh, the traditional would use a uh, bucktail for the belly. But what I'm going to use instead, it's uh, this is an EP sparkle brush, and it's something I've discovered and just really, really, really like. This is uh, Pearl Magic, and it will just take a couple of turns to make a very nice belly on this deceiver. Remember to use something other than your fly tying scissors to cut the stainless steel brush. And then I'm going to unfurl, untrap those fibers. The thing about this material versus bucktail is it, it, uh, it doesn't hold water, doesn't get waterlogged, and it creates this nice flash, the minnow body flash. So now for a wing on this, I'm going to use, uh, there's lots of color common, and the whole, the art of color combinations in your saltwater fly patterns has so much personal preference. But I can tell you that a combination of chartreuse and purple is quite attractive to rockfish. Now this is a Steve Farrar blend. This is chartreuse. And I'm going to tie this on. There are different methods of tying this in. I'm going to use a reverse 
tie method where I trim it quite short. I tie it on facing forward. Three little quick strands and then double it back. I'm going to do the same thing with the purple. And you don't need a lot of this material. And I actually don't want this quite as long as I made it. And little pieces I'm dropping in my lap, I can save those for later use. Different tires have different methods. And I'm going to tie this in just forward of where I had it doubled back. So that is kind of chunky sticking up there. So I'm going to trim that off. Now I'm going to fold this back and just a few wraps. Here I got my wing. Using fine mono thread. And I'm going to put just, try to put just a touch of the hydro. And that will sink right in. And those wraps are rock solid. Another drop at the bottom. I could have done top and bottom at the same time if I'd been planning ahead. So now for, I'm going to use a 5 16th eye. A lot of the traditional lefty de lefties deceivers are tied uh, they may be tied with jungle cock. They may have an eye painted uh, on a white thread head. I really like these adhesive holographic eyes. Wow, look at that. So now what remains and this is going to be fairly simple. I'm, I'm not going to put very much in there to start. This is Cure Goo Tack Free. So you see that starts to sag down there, so I'm going to tilt my vise back. Hopefully it's still on camera, but if it isn't, no, 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 I'm back in there. Now, you see that, that Cure Goo sank in. It's gone. We don't, we don't see that bubble like we did before, which is good because it means it's really locked in, but it also means I want a little bit more on there and I'm waiting, waiting until it looks just the right shape. I'll hit it with the light. Takes a few seconds. You'll know if you're, if, if it's not cured, all the way through, you'll you'll know. You can just add more light, that is. You can also add more material, as you see me doing. So there you have it. Uh, Pacific, Rockfish, Deceiver, Purple and White, uh, thoughtfully borrowed and gratefully, respectfully borrowed from Lefty Cray himself. Have fun with him.